Hi everybody, Kai Waza with you. Welcome back to my channel where we are going through my Hawaiian record collection. All vinyl, one record at a time. And we are on the letter K. So let's uh, pick up where we left off at the last video. So first up today we have the album The Music of Hawaii Instrumental Favorites by Saul Kamehele's Diamond Head Beach Boys. And this is on Mahalo Records and has... Uh, you know, kind of a standard instrumental Hawaiian group with the steel guitar. That is Saul Kamahele right there. And another one by the same group, although it doesn't list his name on the cover here. It just says Diamond Head Beach Boys, but this is uh, Hawaiian music from the films, Diamond Head uh, and other music. So these are all songs that were featured in various films um, that all sort of became hits. This also Mahalo Records. Um, it's Saul Kamahele's Diamond Head Beach Boys. And this album, though, is uh, vocals. Same group, but they're singing. Now, Saul Kamahele's son was Sonny Kamahele, and then he also had a number, uh, quite a number of recordings. Sonny Kamahele, a singer and a steel guitar player, um, Say a Sweet Aloha, Sonny Kamahele, and his Surf Serenaders. This is on the Sounds of Hawaii label. There is Sonny Kamahele, and this actually, I believe, is his son, King Kamahele, I think, who sings on one of these songs. Yeah, his 11-year-old song. Kaoli'i, I think he sings. I don't remember, but I really like it. It's kind of a cute song. Sounds of Hawaii has a nice label. Uh, generally, the Sunny Kamahele records are a mix of vocals and instrumentals. Sounds of Hawaii. Hawaiian Wedding Song, Lovely Hula Hands, War Chant, Sweet Someone, a lot of standards on this one. There's his group. And again, it's, uh, yeah, Sounds of Hawaii. And there you can see I never took the sticker off, $3. <laughs> Here's one on, uh, they were picked up by Decca Records. Decca did a lot of Hawaiian groups, and they picked up quite a few of them. I do love the cover on this. It's very 1970s. 70, 1970s sort of exotic Hawaiian flight attendant, don't you think? A little uh, dress. Anyway, uh, now some of these songs I think they re-recorded, and then some of them are taken directly from the other two albums I saw you, the other same same arrangements or same recordings and then I think they added a couple of songs and this is on uh, DECA this particular one I have is a promotional copy Sunny Kamahele's Beautiful Hawaii this one again a mix of vocals and instrumentals And this one is recorded in the surf room at the Royal Hawaiian Hotel, where they performed. And there are some different soloists on this album that are listed there. Well, whatever. It's also, I think, Sounds of Hawaii record. Uh, then we have Sunny Kamahele, Mine Till the End of Time. It's a slightly later one. I don't know. I think it has the exact date on it, but 1970s. Uh, Kolopa Records, which uh, I believe it's out of California. They did quite a few. Yeah, Encino, California. They recorded uh, a lot of albums in the 70s. They recorded, I think the, the albums recorded in Hawaii, but uh, pressed by them in California or something. Yeah, anyway. Kolopa also has an interesting label.
Then lastly, uh, from Sunny Kamahele on LP, on vinyl, I have this uh, duet, if you will, steel guitar, beautiful Hawaiian steel guitar, uh, volume 11 in the series from Maple Records of Canada, Sweet Sweet Steel Guitar Series number 11. Sunny Kamahele and Mel, I don't know if it's Mel Abe or Mel Abe, honestly, I don't know. There they are. And these are duets. They're playing steel guitar together. And this record is from 1981. Uh, then Sonny Kamahele did continue to do some recording into the CD era. Did a nice Drifting and Dreaming or something CD I have that was recorded here later. And a really beautiful all-instrumental one that was recorded in Japan called Hawaiian Paradise or something. I have that too. It's really beautiful. But that's CD. That's another story. Uh, then finally, we have got Pua Mai Ole, or not finally, but a couple more here. Pua Mai Ole, John Squeeze Kamana, on Sounds of Hawaii Record. Very pretty album cover there. And this is a very nice record. Uh, John Squeeze Kamana and his Hawaiian All Stars, and indeed uh, the performers on this record that make up his group here are. Known, well known in their own right, many of them have solo recordings on their own and uh, are recognizable, like their voices when you hear them on this record. You go, oh, that's Nina Kale Eva Hamana, or that's, there's people that you recognize. Very nice album, very nice arrangements, very classic 1950s kind of Hawaiian music with beautiful harmonies. Then finally today we have a private pressing record, very interesting. Uh, this private pressing, uh, I have at least one other record pressed privately by the same company that has exactly the same illustration on it. So I guess Leo Nani's, I think they're called. I think uh, it must have been, you know, like a stock picture they would use if you wanted to for a Hawaiian release or whatever. But anyway, the album is called Hawaii. Uh, introducing the new songs, Pretty Bluebird, If I Loved You Anymore, and Wild Wind. And this is by Lani. Kamau Oha, and we have her picture here on the back, very lovely lady, singing all of these songs, and her backup ensemble here. I am not really aware that any other records came from this. Melelani, that's the name of the record, Melelani, but uh, it is like a private thing. Phoenix, Arizona. That's the only recording of her that I'm aware of. All right, we're going to take a break there. We're going to listen to some uh, samples from some of these records. All in life is all that I return. Surfing on a wave that comes to shore. The 
those records if you'd like to see more just uh, subscribe and uh, lots more videos to come and lots of videos that uh, came before this one that you can catch up on if you're so inclined uh, thank you for watching and have a good week